Feedback from universally across the country from our members, pretty much every single member, is that it has been very, very busy for them in terms of inquiries. And I don't get any sense of it lessening during the summer months when people would normally be going away on holiday and the kids are off school, you would see quite a tail off of inquiries and orders. But we didn't get that this year, probably because obviously, as we know, um, a lot of people weren't going away on foreign holidays. So therefore, the order levels, inquiry levels kind of were maintained through that period. So I think from a sales point of view, very positive, very strong. And I don't get a sense of anything sort of coming on the immediate horizon that will change. I can foresee our dealers being busy for the remainder of this year and, and well into next year too, which is obviously really, really positive. What has been, of course, an ongoing issue is stock shortages, particularly, I think, in the realms of appliances. It also has to be said, I think, in other areas as well. Certainly from our German kitchen supplier, every single one of them has seen an extension of order lead time to varying degrees. I mean, some of the German brands would normally be delivering typically in four to six weeks. Hey, at the moment, you're probably looking more on average sort of eight to 10 weeks, but we have some of the brands actually now looking nearer 12 to 16 weeks. Well, ironic, isn't it, that the dealers, are, for some dealers, they've got more business than maybe they've had, maybe even in their history, or certainly for many, many years. And they've got these fantastic big value orders and just to coincide with all these orders, they've got major problems in terms of trying to fulfill them. So that has been, I think, a big frustration and a big issue for our members kind of managing and dealing with that. And I think probably sort of two things have kind of happened. One is I think that the, the retailers have kind of have become used to this situation. Our members have become very used now to placing appliance orders and orders for everything really connected to the kitchen as soon as they possibly can. But that, of course, gives them cash flow problems. If you take a German kitchen, if it's taking 12 to 16 weeks for that order to arrive and they're placing the appliance order 12 to 16 weeks out, then obviously they're going to have to pay for those appliances before they're actually going to get the money in from the client. And if they're a very busy dealer with two or three orders on the go at any one time, obviously the, the implications of that cash flow wise um, you know, can be quite severe. So I think that is an issue that I think suppliers need to think about, possibly giving them longer periods of time to have to pay, being a bit more sympathetic to that situation. And the second thing, I think quality of information from the supplier to the retailer has improved. First, telling them that the product isn't available and hopefully giving them a good indication when the product might be available so that then they and their client can obviously have an honest discussion about is the client prepared to wait or will the client potentially look at other models within that particular appliance range or maybe even switching that appliance range. I do think we're actually into a bit of a long-term problem because after all this problem was around last year, it's pretty much going to be all the way through this year and the chances are it's also going to be around next year. It is something that both the suppliers and the you know the retailers are, I think are going to get, have to get used to and this could potentially become the new normal in the current situation where we've got chronic shortages as I say almost universally across all suppliers and over a very wide range of products I think there does need to be more discussion about where are we today what is happening to improve the situation and when really honestly will it improve